Hello, in this problem we have a function and we're being asked to use the intermediate value theorem to verify that f has a zero in this interval. So the version of the intermediate value theorem we're using is one uh, that is sometimes stated specifically for polynomials. It says you have a polynomial p of x and uh, it's on an interval say a, b. And if you look at the function values at the endpoints p of a and p of b if these have opposite signs so if these have opposite signs then there is a number at least one number c in this interval such that p of c is equal to zero so that's the one we're using uh, basically this is just the intermediate value theorem um, it's saying, you know, if you have something like this, and this is B and this is A, right? So this is P of A down here, and this is P of B up here. You see the sign changes, um, so it has to be zero at some point uh, in this interval. So that's the main idea. So let's go ahead and plug in the endpoints here. So F of negative four, that would be our A, right? F of A, or it's F, not P. Uh, in our problem, it's F. And so if you put a negative 4 everywhere there's an x, I'll do it here so you see it, 2 times negative 4 to the 4th plus 3 times negative 4 cubed minus 14 times negative 4 squared minus 9 times negative 4 plus 8, right, plus 8. So if you put this uh, in a calculator or something um, and you try to evaluate, you should get, if I did this correctly, check my math, you should get 140. So f of negative 4 is 140. So if we do the same thing with negative 3, so now we just put uh, a negative 3 everywhere there's an x, uh, we should get negative 10. Okay, negative 10. If someone watches this video, please let me know if these computations are correct. <laughs> I'm pretty sure um, I, I, I triple checked them. So the signs are different. So signs are opposite. It's a messy problem. It's probably not the best example because it's so messy. It kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, takes away from the main idea is that, you know, when a polynomial changes sign, um, it's, it's going to be zero somewhere in the interval. So signs are opposite, so therefore, yes. So therefore, there is at least one C, okay, one value of C in our interval, okay, in our interval. So in, and our interval in this problem uh, is um, A, B, okay? such that p of c is equal to zero. And I, I think it's good to write stuff like this down. Um, it shows what's happening. The problem is not really about um, the terrible computation. It's not really that bad. It's just you know a lot of numbers. It's easy to mess up. It's really about this. So I hope this has been helpful to someone out there who is trying to learn uh, some stuff about polynomials. Good luck.